people in the community had some questions. Uh, they were afraid of receiving uh, fake tokens, especially uh, Hatter HCR tokens. So I'm going to address these uh, this doubts and these questions here. Uh, first of all, uh, we don't allow anyone to create uh, HCR tokens, any tokens uh, called HCR or Hatter. So for example, I have uh, the desktop wallet here and the mobile wallet, the app. Uh, I'm going to try to create a, a Hatter token here. So I'm going to call it Hatter. Uh, name HTR and you just want to create a hundred uh, and uh, what happens is that uh, it's not allowed I mean it's not even just on the app that we uh, we do it we do it at the network level so like the foo knows they don't allow it so uh, even if I try and change uh, just for like hatter 2 but uh, keep the name HTR uh, it's also gonna be uh, it's gonna give me an error uh, first for the name Hatter and now it's going to give me the error for uh, the token uh, symbol uh, HTR. So that's the first thing. So no one can, can create a, an HTR uh, token. Uh, it's always here. It's the first token that you have. Uh, that's the one thing. The other thing about, uh, about tokens, custom tokens, is that uh, they can be named anything and there can be some repeated names. So if I create a token uh, Let's say I already have here on my desktop wallet my token uh, with symbol MTK. I could as well create another one, or anyone could create also a my token MTK. And how do you go about protecting it? How do you make sure you have the correct one? So, for example, I'm going to send some some of these tokens from desktop wallet to the mobile wallet. I'm going to get an address here and then send. Understand five. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna uh, send it, and after it's sent, uh, you're gonna see that it's not gonna show up automatically here. So uh, it doesn't matter if I refresh it, if I close it and open it. it, it doesn't show up here, but it's been sent. So the thing is that uh, we don't, by default, display any tokens that you receive uh, on your app. Uh, two things, uh, two reasons that we do that. First of all, uh, if anyone sends any tokens, you could have like 100, 100 tokens here and you cannot control who sends tokens to you. Anyone can send, so I could just send you like 100 different tokens and you have 100 different tokens here on this list and that's kind of uh, not good. And the second thing is for security. So uh, you only see the tokens that you register, and that's why it's super important for you to uh, to only register the tokens that you uh, that you trust. So now I'm gonna register it. I have the uh, configuration string, and then I'm gonna register it. <clears throat> okay, and then you see that uh, I received uh, the five tokens. It's here. I mean, I had already received, but now that I uh, registered the token, uh, the balance shows up. Uh, one thing, so also another difference is uh, you see here uh, on the custom token you have this other uh, screen with the token information that's also something that you don't have for Hatter since no one can create another token like that. So, um, and you see here uh, the token information, the token name, the symbol, and then this uh, weird, uh, weird uh, letters and numbers here. Uh, basically, they are a token unique ID. So they can have the same name, the same symbol, but this string here is gonna be unique. Uh, and so what happens is I can create a new token and I'm also gonna call it my token. Oops. And also I'm gonna say uh, MTK, so basically the same one as before. I'm gonna create it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send uh, this this new token, which are basically the same tokens, uh, to also this wallet and see what happens. So um, I'm gonna go on send tokens. Oops, let me first change here. Yeah, see, I'm sending from the new ones that I created. You see the balance available here is 50 because I, I created it with uh, 50 coins initially. I'm just gonna send one. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let me uh, get an address again and send one. 
so I sent it here uh, one token for also MTK and uh, you see the balance is still five. It doesn't show up here because it's a different token. Even though it has the same name, uh, it has uh, the same symbol, it's a different token. You see like this UID here, it's, it's, it's how you see, uh, it's the thing that's unique about a token. So uh, if you register a token that someone sent you and okay, okay, this is my token and some other person tries to uh, scam you and try to create another, a new token with the same name and symbol and sends you, it's not going to work because it's not going to show up here unless you add this new token. You go here and click register token and that add the configuration string for the new one because they are different. These two, these two tokens here, you see they are different. They have uh, different uh, UIDs. That's the unique ID. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, how you. Uh, that's how you know which token you're receiving, and to make sure that you're not getting scammed.